everyone, my name is Leanne and today I'm going to bring you an historical fiction haul. As you may know, over the past quite a few months I've been trying to like catch up on a lot of ebook hauls. There was just a period of my booktubing where I wasn't recording what Kindle books that I got and I do want this channel to be a place where I record all of my reading. I know a lot of people who only make hauls about the physical books that they acquire, but I would like to include everything that I'm getting my hands on. I thought I might be caught up by the end of February, but that hasn't happened. I'm now deciding that I want to be caught up by the end of April, and if I'm not caught up by then, anything that I haven't hauled, I'm not gonna bother with. <laughs> I'm not buying any ebooks anymore, the only ebooks that I'm acquiring are eARCs from NetGalley. But yeah, it would be nice to talk about the books that I am acquiring quite soon after I acquire them because a lot of these books I did get quite a while ago. Anyways, I'm going to stop babbling on and I'm going to tell you about some historical fiction books that I have yet to get to. <laughs> the first book I'm going to tell you about is one that I'm sure you've heard of before and that is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. I totally missed the train on this book when it first came out and I feel like a lot of people who also missed that train are now starting to read it because of the BBC adaptation. This is set in the 17th century and it's about an 18 year old girl who moves to Amsterdam because she's going to become the wife of a very wealthy merchant. She doesn't actually see much of this guy when she moves into his fancy house. But one day he presents her with this magnificent gift. It is a small miniature replication of their house. But the events of the actual house and the miniature house begin to mirror and reflect one another, which just sounds like a really interesting concept to me. Do let me know down below if you've read this one and what you thought of it because I have heard a few mixed reviews. The next book I'm going to tell you about is The Butcher's Hook by Janet Ellis. So this book is set in London in the summer of 1763. It is about a 19 year old girl named Anne who lives a very sheltered life. Her parents are very protective. She's miserable at home. Her parents have arranged a marriage for her that she's very unhappy with. But she then meets a young man named Fub who is the butcher's apprentice and things move along from there. I've heard a lot of excellent reviews about this one and it has a beautiful cover as well. So I'm really excited to get to this one. The next book I'm going to tell you about is a fairly new release and that is The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gower. This is set in 1785 and it is about what happens when a merchant named Jonah Hancock receives a very urgent knock at his door from one of his captains who tells him he has sold one of Jonah's ships for what appears to be a mermaid. Word spreads throughout society about this mermaid and people have a great interest in Mr. Hancock's mermaid. This spins him into an existence that is much different from what he is used to and he is catapulted with the opportunity to mingle with high society. And here he meets one of the most beautiful women that he has ever laid eyes on. And this encounter steers both of their lives into a dangerous new course. I love mermaids. I have this like I'm one of those people that has like a weird mermaid obsession. <laughs> this one sounds fascinating so I'm really looking forward to reading it. Next up I have two books that you may be interested in reading if you are thinking of participating in the Irish Readathon which is coming up in March. Either these books or any of these authors backlists or back catalogue, they have both written a lot of books. The first of these books is Brooklyn by Colm Tobin. This book is about a young woman named Eilish who comes of age in a small town in Ireland just after the Second World War. She is really struggling to find a job in Ireland, the economy isn't great, there are a lack of opportunities, but she gets the chance to be sponsored to move to America, which is what a lot of young Irish people did at this point in history. She begins to build a really successful and happy life for herself, she falls in love, she finds herself a job, but when tragedy strikes she is brought back to Ireland. So yeah, definitely a great pick for the Irish Readathon if you are interested. There's also a film of this that has uh, Saoirse Ronan in it and Donald Glenn Gleason, and I'd really recommend the film as well. My next Irish historical fiction is The Wonder by Emma Donoghue. I believe this is about, again, it's about a small town in Ireland and it focuses on what appears to be a miracle girl, a girl who believes that she can survive without food. It is believed that she is surviving off manna from heaven. A journalist is sent to cover this story. I believe this is a book that has a lot of tension and some thriller elements in it as well. I'm hoping to read this one for the Irish readers on myself. The next historical fiction I have is Under the Udala Trees by Chinella Okparanta. This is a book that is really heavily inspired by Nigerian folk tales and myth. It's about a young girl who comes of age as her nation does. When she is 11, a civil war breaks out and she is sent to safety where she meets another displaced child. 
However, there are a couple of complications to their relationship in that they are both from different ethnic communities and they are both girls. The author uses this very personal story to explore wider concepts of Nigerian selfhood, as well as looking at the effects of tension and war. This one just sounds really, really brilliant. And finally, I have Trail of Broken Wings by Sajal Badani. I believe this focuses on an Indian American photographer. Since leaving home, she has lived her life on the run, but when her father ends up in a coma, she is brought back to her home country and to her family. She also has two sisters, one who has built a very cozy suburban life. The other has built an incredibly successful career. And as these women come together, they begin to grieve and come to terms with their family history, lots of secrets about the family and particular the father who is unconscious and in a coma begin to surface and it is about those three sisters and their mother trying to deal with those. It is also about severe racism and violence and it sounds like a really important book. I love books that delve into family histories and family secrets so I think this is going to be a really great book for me. So there are all the historical fiction books that I'm going to tell you about today. Do let me know down below if you've read any of them and what you thought of them. Do you have a favourite historical period to read about? Let me know down below. I hope you guys are all well and I will talk to you in my next video.